Levi Wofford. According to Mr. Ragazzi, you were present at the clinic the night your father was murdered. In fact, he claims you were the one to kill him. This is not true, Your Honor. That night, I was in my apartment chatting with my friend online. He's lying, Your Honor. I have the entire chat log here with the date and time, proving I wasn't present while my father was being murdered by this man. This is not true. He sneaked into the clinic somehow. Mr. Ragazzi, this is the second time you've spoken out of term. I advise you hold your thoughts until I've asked you any questions. Alexander Wofford, in your statement you declare you were in your house at the time of your father's murder. What can you tell me about this? Your Honor, that night I was in my office going through some paperwork for two interviews which would take place the next morning at the company. How did you find out about what happened to your father? I was contacted by phone by the owner of the clinic. What time was this? 3.25 a.m. And I was told the murder occurred around midnight. Did you ever meet with Mr. Ragazzi before the incident? No. Only the owner and some of the nurses. Sergeant Rome, in the police report your department provided, it is stated that the only fingerprints found on the firearm were Ragazzi's. That's correct, Your Honor. In fact, we didn't notice any signs of intrusion, and none of the nurses saw anything. As of now, all the evidence points to the defendant. Mr. Ragazzi, how do you plan on defending yourself? Your Honor, the night of the murder, I entered Mr. Wofford's room. When I heard voices coming out of it, that's when I found his son pointing a, a gun at him. What were you doing in the halls so late? It's my job to make sure all the patients are sleeping. Giving him the chance to murder my dad? No! Mr. Ragazzi, considering your recent nervous breakdown, I am placing you under house arrest until your lawyer can find any more proof of your innocence for the next trial. You will be wearing an ankle bracelet. If you should need to go anywhere, an officer will be dispatched to your location to escort you. The session will now conclude. You may all be excused. Vivian, what are you doing here? Benjamin, it's been two days and I haven't seen Roger or heard from him. Where is he? He's working on a mission. I've been calling him, but he never answers. What mission is this? I'm sorry, Vivian, but he's been very busy. Then how come he didn't tell me anything? He has some free time to at least make a phone call. Don't worry, he's fine. No. Benjamin, he's been acting differently these past few weeks. What is going on here? Nothing is going on. Don't lie to me, Ben. Fine. I'll leave you alone. But I will find the truth some other way. Fuck. Try, asshole. I know where Carson is. Meet me at my house. Is that Ross? Yeah. He sent me the same message.
What is that? Oh, 